My name is Hayden Wayne. We are the Hudson River Poets. And being that this is October, and we have Halloween coming, which for some of us is probably the one day that they don't celebrate it because they celebrate it every day of the year. But I'm going to be reading from my opera, Dracula, Opera Erotica, The Unwillingness to Leave Our Dreams. I wrote the piece, my gosh, 1995, 28 years ago. It's for large orchestra and uh, three singers, who are the three main characters. I also did a heavy metal gothic orchestration chamber version of that because I was kind of taunted into doing such a thing by the late Michael Butler, who had produced Air, who loved the work. But I'm going to read you a few selections from this. The opening starts with Dracula himself. The night, the night, the sinew that holds dusk to dawn. Time has no meaning in this world. Subconscious desires are freed, for all restraint is cast aside with the dark of night. I know you long to be my queen. Smell the night, the night. I can taste you, my darling and long to be with you again, nestled deep inside the warmth I call my home. You will be my queen, and as I draw you from the light, you'll feel me racing through your veins, and the pounding of your heart will shake you as you cry out for me. Lust, that is the night so secret and longing to be free, burning in me for centuries beyond the reach of time before the mortal self was born into the light. All of us who have freed ourselves from the rules of man have thrown off the yoke of light and rejoice in this dominion so dark Twisting and turning, for lust is the essence of man's soul. This is the true light, and its relentless, insatiable desire burns brighter than any sun. If only the sun would never show, so all would be endless night. Every shadow, every darkness, every place where the sun of day shall never shine, I will be there. Every drop of sweat that falls from your body, I will rub on mine until our smells are one. Every drop of blood that passes from you to me and me to you will be the catalyst which binds our union and the darkness that will shroud our world will be your wedding veil for all eternity. I am the dream, the void, the blackness of night. You are the light and you will be my queen in a seamless underworld where there's one shadow, and that shadow is me. Mina's having a dream, and Jonathan's sitting behind her. Sitting here beside you, do you even care? Lost in all the darkness, in the darkness, you're not there. Mina, while you're dreaming, do you think of him wrapped up in his shadow? Such a darkness, why do you let him? I'm right here with you. Demons calling from the darkness, 
Don't you listen? Mina. Mina. The night. Mina, while you're dreaming, feel me by your side. The night. Smell. Oh, how it longs for you. Come. You want to. Always there to hold you. Always when you need me. Mina, dream of me. Come with me. Mina. 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 Later on, Jonathan sings to Mina. Mina, I love you. Remember as a child when we were afraid of the dark? And in the dark, there's no place to hide. Whatever your mind would think, it would think. So all those demons came from deep inside. How many times did we hide beneath the sheet? How many times did we scream out with fright? How many times did we cry ourselves to sleep just to make those demons go away? Mina, I love you. Here we are again, surrounded by the dark, with no place to run, with no place to hide, no matter how scary things might get, just feel me by your side. I will make those demons go away. Mina, my love for you cannot be shaken. You are my life, a part of me. I swear I'll never let him hurt you. I swear I will never leave you. I swear. Trust in our love. It will help us find our way. Trust in my love. Trust in me. Mina. Mina! Trust in my love. You'll be safe. You'll see. In a certain moment, towards the end, when Mina now is so supercharged, telepathically and spiritually intertwined with Dracula. Let me just go back before I read this and read one other thing so you understand the motivation. Dracula says, I know this hunger, this voracious need that grows with every touch. I know this craving. This student grows more the teacher. I could take you. You have such a natural gift. <clears throat> yes, I could take you in an instant. One glorious instant. But as the taste of you faded from my lips, once again, I'd be alone. But if you come to me, come to me of your own free will, then in an instant we'll be frozen in time. One endless embrace, face to face. So here we go. And here she is. And he doesn't want to take her. Because Jonathan somehow has convinced him, rightfully, that he'll destroy what he loves. And he has fallen in love with her. That's why he dies. Someone of five centuries of telepathic monolithic towering strength to be rendered impotent 
waiting for her to come of her own free will. And at that moment when she offers herself, she says, I swear on my blood, which I freely give to you, an oath of loyalty and devotion. I will share the night with you, the stars, my love, the moon, the earth, my heart, my life, the ocean. I swear on my soul you will never be alone in our journey throughout the darkness. I swear to you, my love, I swear with all my heart, I swear with all my, my blood, to you, my love, I swear. And by the end of the piece, he goes to destroy Jonathan, who tries to destroy him. He has given his word not to, but the impending sunrise really prevents him from consummating the action of snuffing out his breath. And the sun's rising, and he has to leave. Dracula, that is. And Mona, and Mona, and Mina wakes up with a startling gasp and realizes Dracula has gone, and she runs off to him, telepathically connected. Unfortunately, her footsteps in the dust now will allow Jonathan to find Dracula's greatest secret. But she comes in almost collapsing out of breath from this tear that she's run to be by him. And she says in her final aria, before there's a grandion at the end. I came as fast as I could. My love, I'm here with you. Feel your body next to mine. My love soon will be as one with all the stars that wash up on the shores of night, with every kiss, with each embrace, with you, my love. My love, here we are inevitably to be one. Feel me racing through your veins. Feel I'm a part of you. Feel I want you. I want you near me, so near that when I lay beside you, your body fits to mine. I need you so deep inside me. And when you wrap me in your arms and squeeze, the pounding of our hearts beat as one. My love, how I love you. This day seems so slow in passing. When will it be done? One more day the night will bind our love. The sun is just one star, but the night is full of suns, and when this day finally sets, a multitude of dreams will fill the sky. The night, the night, take me, take me, my love, my love. Sleep, 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 my love. Dracula, opera erotica, the unwillingness to leave our dreams. It's a hundred minute one act. I do it as a diptych for a hundred piece orchestra, and then there's an intermission, and then there's a gothic heavy metal chamber version of it. And um, there it is. I wish you could do a salon and play the music for you. It's quite an earful. My name is Hayden Wayne. We are the Hudson River Poets. This is The Bank. Brian Dennison is the artistic director. God bless him. We are back and flush. 
Until next time. Peace.